Mark Dobmeyer, the car number 13. Well, we do a lot of work in, in the winter time, so we are, by the time we hit race season, we're pretty prepared. We have uh, three cars built. The, the travels for us are uh, they're quite involved. We uh, start out in our hometown of Grand Forks, North Dakota on, on Friday nights at River City Speedway. Uh, we race there Friday night. We sleep in our own beds and get nice and comfortable until 6 in the morning on Saturday. And uh, travel down the road, we drive to Sioux Falls and pick up the uh, car owner Dave Lunster and a couple crew guys. Travel on to Knoxville, Iowa for racing Saturday night. Race Saturday here in Knoxville. After the races, we pack back up, jump back on the road, and drive all the way back to Sioux Falls, which usually puts us there about 5 in the morning. Sleep there for a few hours, get up, wash the car, and maintenance it, and get it ready for Sunday night in Sioux Falls. And uh, we run there Sunday, and right after the races, we pack her back up again and through the night again back home because uh, we're all just regular guys that got regular jobs and we got to be there Monday morning bright and early so it puts us back to Grand Forks usually somewhere around 4:30, 5 o'clock in the morning and then uh, I go to work at 7 30 why goes to work at 7 and I think Lenny's about 8 so <laughs> every weekend it works out to like 1390 miles so the weeks are, are about as interesting as the weekends to be honest uh, like I said, we all got full-time jobs. Uh, mine happens to be I own Forks Radiator, which is a sponsor on the front wing. It's uh, just as hectic as the, as the weekend, so it's it's a commitment. Um, I'm lucky enough to have a, a, a family that loves racing as much as I do, and uh, we can uh, work together to do it. I, I'm still under the same thing that, that I've said since I started. I'm gonna take the racing as far as I possibly can. Um, at this point, with my business at home and everything, I, I've taken it as far as I can, but I've, I've never had the offer to, to go full-time with the Outlaws or anything like that as well. So, um, I'm just, uh, I, I run pretty much wide open all the time, and I just take, take what opportunity falls at my plate and go from there. Um, this is the, the most, that we can, most that we can race, basically, from where we're at, you know. Um, these are the three closest tracks to us that run on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and, in a way, I feel kind of lucky because uh, we can have our own lives at home during the week and uh, yet we're, we're putting on just as many miles and just as many shows as the Outlaws are, so we're still getting that seat time and experience. So um, It makes it really fun too when you can get them around your, your home track and beat them up a little bit. We were lucky enough to get an Outlaw win last year at Houston, so um, yeah, it's just what we do and what we, it's what we enjoy doing. So As long as the, as long as the fun's in it, we're going to keep it rolling. We just, we just do it because we like racing. Then. Yeah, it's a big commitment, but at the end of the day, it's it's uh, it's what we're addicted to. It's just kind of what we do, you know. It's you got nights where you're banging your head against the, the wing and trying to figure out what the heck you're, why you're doing this or what you're doing wrong, and and the next night you can come out and win. And I mean, it just makes it all better. It's all just for that thrill of winning. That's that's the cool part about racing. It's 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 ongoing. It's you'll never stop learning, and it's always a challenge. Uh, just when you think you got things figured out, you're next next time you're chasing your tail the next race out. So, we're uh, it's just the the ongoing challenge of getting it all figured out, you know.